What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we are back with some more Atlas Fallen. And today, I am going to show you how to get the best armor early in the game. And it appears, I just went back to this area, that it is missable. So don't miss this armor because it's super juicy. And it'll give you some really good damage earlier on. My family, without further ado, let's dab in. So the set I am talking about is the Scouts gear. And you get it in this area I'm currently at. You can get it as soon as you get access to the, you don't even need a double dodge. The second you get the first dodge, you come down here, come around, you go over here. You need to get to this area because that's where you need to lift up. You get the power to lift up the ground. But after you, before you leave this area and go back over here, don't do it yet. Because once you go over here, you're not going to be able to go back to this area for a long time. I guess like a good hour or two hours into gameplay. But it's in this area where I'm at right now. The lady that gives it to you, it looks like she's gone because she would have been right here. Talks to you. You have to go find five pieces of uh, some quest item. And after you get them, you give them back to her. She gives you essence and she gives you the armor. Don't worry, don't worry. I have all five of the locations. I'm gonna put it up after I get them explain the armor so you can find it as well. So the, what the armor does is it's really strong. What it does is it has a bonus stat that you get using the set. It gives you plus nine when you level it up to level six. And also too, it has a unique trait that your active stones have significantly reduced cooldowns, meaning your abilities that you use by hitting L2 are even faster up so you can use them sooner than anticipated, but also too, you get additional damage as well. Cool thing is you get a good amount of defense as well. Recover HP is good. Defense is good fortune. Your, sh your shatter damage is good, but more importantly, that overall damage increase you get from this armor is just absolutely disgusting. Here are the levels you get at the skills you get per level, four, five, and six. And with this, I paired this off with my momentum build. I recommend using these if you're starting off, you wanna get the parry, cause you wanna build momentum, cause that's how you do majority of your damage and your skills. On successful parries, you get momentum. I had this one on there. If you have, once you get used to the parry time, you don't need it as much, but what it does is it greatly increases your snake, your sand skin. So you can parry, have a bigger window for parrying. And I just recommend having your, increase your overall damage. Other things, if you don't have this one yet, cause you're still earlier in, that's fine. Use this one. You can buy the Aquatic Delilah from the vendor in this area. There's a vendor that sells it to you for like a hundred bucks in this area where you have to go. So you can use that, get the parry one on there early. So you can be, have a bigger window. You parry an enemy, you, you get more momentum. And while you get your momentum up, you do your attack, your attacks are stronger and everything else from this point on for tier three, tier two, tier, tier, two, tier three, you can put whatever you want in there. But this is what I would recommend for people starting off. Then after that, you can continue to expand with whatever you get. Right now I have this one. And defeating the foe's body part, defeating the foe or defeating breaking the body parts makes me stronger. This one, my increasing my shatter damage. And last but not least, this one increases momentum generated with defeating enemies. Like I said, momentum is the most important re currency resource in this game. So I want to build it as fast as possible. Then my tier three, this one's cool because if I perform attack, has no cooldown, defeats the enemy by destroying the body part. And I have this one, leaves the AOE shatter behind. And this one's dope because it's like my. In automatically parry any incoming attack that occurs within every 22 seconds. There's a lot of other skills in here as well. You can, can I'll just go through them really quickly so you can guys kind of see like what are some things available to you. But those are the ones that I would recommend getting earlier on in the game. And right now, what I'm about to do is show you how to get off five pieces because they're a little tricky, but also to use this press down your directional pad and it'll tell you the locations of them. So you're not going around aimlessly in case you can't find one of the items. Perch. Look at the corpses. The Knights of Bastingar. There's a lot of stuff around here.
The Knights of Bastengo. I can sense it. This arm. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. My goal was to show you guys how to get some really good armor earlier in the game. It helped me out get through halfway through the game. Then you can start switching things up, or you can keep it on. But hope you hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Until next time, dear camera, signing out.